they didn't think I could do it, and I did. Uh, it ended up being pretty cool. There was a lot of freedom uh, growing up on the Western Slope. So I actually really enjoyed growing up in the country. Uh, I lived in on Grand Mesas and I lived in the middle of cornfield. Both my parents were, were really politically active as well. Uh, my mom was a teacher and she was a member of the teachers union. And my dad um, is a plumber and a pipe fitter. And so uh, working class issues were always really important to us. I remember um, I, I interviewed and someone had mentioned, well, you know, you're, you've got two young kids and um, are you sure you're going to have time for this? And I just remember at that very moment thinking, you know what, someday I'm going to be sitting where you are and I'm going to be making the decisions about who's going to be on these boards and commissions. Um, and, and I decided, forget the boards and commissions, I'm just going to run for office. And I did. And I ran for the Arvada City Council. This is absolutely not a difficult question for me. If I could just wave a magic wand and automatically make three things happen here in Colorado, it would be to improve education funding, transportation funding, and housing affordability. I hate chocolate, so vanilla. <laughs> I'm an evening slash night person. Harry Potter. Finance Act, uh, I was on an interim committee looking at our school finance formula. And through that process, I learned that we actually do not fully fund special education. Um, at the time, we were only funding it at 31%. We needed to do better. And so I worked really hard um, to introduce an amendment to the School Finance Act that dedicated um, $22 million toward Tier B for special education. And um, this was the the largest investment towards kids with disabilities and special needs uh, in, in our state's history. And I think every child deserves every opportunity to learn. And we need to be doing what we can to accommodate their needs and, and give everybody a, a good education. I have no idea. <laughs> Um, I think uh, that it would be really cool to be able to um, have like super knowledge and um, to be able to uh, predict the future for like one day. So I'd be able to go around and warn everybody about what is happening or is going to happen um, to be able to avoid um, bad things from happening to good people. So. <laughs>